Hey there, I'm back with a new acquisitions video. I did a little bit of shopping lately, so I just wanted to unveil some of the stuff I bought. None of these are Lego or block sets, they're just uh, collectibles uh, I purchased uh, in stores and online. I won't bore you with any long-winded expositions, so let's just get to the point and unbag these things. I'm gonna start with the bags, since they're easier to open. First up, things I got from my local dollar store. Uh, we have a Pokeball plush, official Pokeball merchandise. They were selling these for $4 Canadian, so I just grabbed one. They had different kinds, but I just grabbed the standard Pokeball. Second is solo Star Wars movie, a Chewbacca Funko Pop. I didn't used to like Funko Pops, I thought they were kind of ugly, but I've turned around a bit on them. Uh, they've released some really cool ones, uh, and uh, I feel like they're better looking now than they used to be, uh, with the early ones. Uh, so uh, I saw the Chewbacca, uh, I saw the, the Solo Stories Chewbacca Funko Pop, and it was uh, $4 Canadian as well. So I decided to grab it because it looks kind of cool with the goggles and the gun. Third up is the Pusheen Funko Pop. Uh, I decided to get this one because, well, just look at it. Pretty much the reason why. Four up. Is the Bulbasaur Funko Pop. Uh, Bulbasaur is my favorite Pokemon, so I decided to grab a Funko Pop for it too. Uh, it was actually, uh, I found it actually pretty cheap for something that came out just recently. He's kind of cute with his uh, vacant dark eyes there. And the last of the Funkos. This is Botan from Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho uh, is the first manga I have ever owned. I don't plan on getting any of the other characters in this series. So just Botan. This is going to be in my collection. Now for the box. Coming straight from Japan. Let's see what's inside. That Japanese newspaper. Weird. Oh, there we go. First up, we've got the Pokemon Quest uh, figures. I recently played and finished Pokemon Quest on uh, mobile. I find the character designs to be re really, really cute, so I wanted, when I saw that they made some figures, uh, of the of some of the Pokemon, I just wanted to grab them. <laughs> the little square Pikachu looks cute. This is my least favorite of the the figures, the Snorlax. Well, I like this one too, a Magic Arp. Again, I don't plan on opening any of these, so this one's a little bent. Oh well. But I, I plan on keeping them in the, in the packaging, so I won't be making another video about these. This one I do plan to open due to the nature of the product, so I will be making another video about it. It's the Pokemon Terrarium Collection uh, Alola version 2. Ethereum Collection EX Alola 2. That's what it's saying on it. Basically, basically uh, it's a complete set of six. Uh, there won't be any uh, doubles in the packaging or any of that. They don't seem to do that in Japan. So I'm gonna be making another video uh, opening these up and putting them together. Checking out how they look for real. 
So this is all that I bought and received recently. That's going to be it for this video. So if you watched it, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to be putting out an un my unboxing video for the uh, ter Terrarium collection soon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.